Getting the structured output from large language models is a pain in the back. Projects like SGL or SGLang attempts to reduce that pain. In this video, we will be installing this SGL locally and then we will see how SGL can enable you to structure your conversation with large language models locally or with API based LLMs. SGLang is a structured generation language or SGL for short designed for LLMs. It makes your interaction with LLMs faster and more controllable by co-designing the front-end language and the runtime system. It provides you two great features. First, it's a flexible front-end language because it allows for easy programming of LLM applications with multiple change generation calls, advanced prompting techniques, control flow, multiple modalities, parallelism, and external interactions. Secondly, it also offers a high performance runtime with Redix attention. That feature significantly accelerates the execution of complex LLM programs by automatic KV cache reuse across multiple calls. If you don't know what KV cache is, I just did a video yesterday where I go into uh, way more detail in a very easy language explaining what KV cache is. Anyway, so SGL also supports other common techniques like continuous batching and tensor parallelism. It works on both text and images. So let's go to my local system and then we will get it installed and see how it works. This is my local system where I'm running Ubuntu 22.04. I have one GPU card of around 50 GPU of VRAM and this GPU card is sponsored and provided by Mast compute so really hats off to them for uh, letting me rent it out so very grateful for it and this is making it possible to produce these videos on such a good hardware so if you're looking to rent a gpu maybe give them a go um, their references in the video's description let me clear the screen now in order to get started i would highly suggest that you use conda environment which keeps everything separate and clean from your local system i already have conda if you don't know how to install conda please search the channel so let me first up create a conda environment for sgl and i will be using python 3.11 as you can see here let's wait for it to install it just press y press enter and it is going to install everything needed in order to run this conda Simply activate it and we will step into this conda environment as you can see in parenthesis, parenthesis on the left hand side. Let's clear the screen. In order to install this SGL or SGLang, all you need to do is to run this command. Pip install SGLang and in the scare brackets all. If you just want to deal with OpenAI, just replace all with OpenAI. But, but I'm going to just install everything in one go. So let's wait for it to get installed. SGL is installed. Now, next step we need to do is to decide whether we are going to use local model or API based model. I'm going to use the local model, which is Llama. And Llama is a gated model, which means that you would have to log in to the Hugging Face CLI. For that, first you need to install this Hugging Face Hub. So, let me install it quickly. And then we would need to run Hugging Face CLI with the login switch like this and it is going to ask for our hugging face token so for that let's go to our hugging face page which is huggingface.co login with your email account on the top right click on your profile settings left hand side access tokens and then grab a token i already have this hf token if you don't have it just click on this new token and it's for free let's go to our terminal and i am going to paste my token and then you can just say why or no whatever doesn't matter in this case so because i don't have git here so that is why that warning which you can ignore so i'm logged in to the hugging face as you can see here which is cool let's clear the screen now in order to run this sglang server so that it will be running and we can talk to our model in this case i'm just going to use llama 2 by the way, you can use any Llama model, Mixtrol, Gemma, and I think there are a few other models, DBRX, which it supports. So let me run this. 
and it is going to download the model first so let's wait for it to get downloaded there are two tensors each so one is 10 gig the other one is 3.5 so around close to 14 gig of size there you go so the model is loaded now and now our sglang server is running locally on port 30000 now let me open another window i will let this one run i will open another terminal and then we will try to interact with this sglang so i have opened another terminal window and then from my python interpreter prompt all i'm doing it first i have imported the functions from sglang and then i have defined this function which is simply a multi turn question function that takes as an input s and i will shortly show you what exactly is that and two questions and this function is a decorator in python and we have imported it from sglang let's set the default backend for our sglang uh, which is running on our local host at port 30000 backend is set now and then let's define our state which is simply using this multi turn question and it is running with two questions what is the capital of us and then list to local attractions state is now defined and now let's uh, get the messages from that state and we will be just printing them out and there you go you see this is the magic of this sgl that it has uh, confined or structured the way we are conversing with llm and then also it has confined the output of it so first it is a system message that you're a helpful assistant then user is asking what is the capital of us assistant is responding then um i'm asking it user is asking it another question what are the local attractions and then assistant is saying that there are two and it has given it so amazing amazing answer you can even just get the one answer if you want to get only the answer instead of the whole stuff so how good is that so this is a beauty of sgl where it enables you to talk to your large language models in such a way that their structure will be con you know uh, confined well defined and you, you it won't deviate here and there still uh, to be honest it sometimes it does but this is one of the good ways of controlling your input and output in this way with this structured format so for this video um i'm going to stop here but i'm also going to do a video where i'll be showing you that apart from this open uh, sorry uh, local model which you don't have to uh, pay for any api you can also use this for open ai's um, model like gpt4 or whatever you like plus you can also use it with a vision model so not only text but also you can give them some of the images and you can control and structure all of this output so all in all a real amazing project this sgl really like it i think i'll be using it more in my projects i will drop the link to it in video description let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching